Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have three massive boxes sitting next to me. I haven't decided I, I might break this into two videos. It'll actually be three videos because there are two more boxes coming today. Um, but they're not going to be here until later. And it's early morning and I don't have time to wait for them to get here because then it's one big video. It's later. I'm tired. So we're going to do this this morning. And then we'll do that one in a separate video for sure. But we'll start with this top box, and then if I need to make the other one into another video, I'll make the other one into another video. And if not, then we will just press forward. Alright, so, happy planner die cut sticker. And the reason I'm showing you that, I mean, I always show you that, but the reason I showed you that first is because this is not a happy planner order. This is a happy crafts order order and I didn't know if they were going to be sending the die cut stickers with them and that answers my question they are so I've got a lot of stuff in here I may or may not it depends on how they're packaged like these first two things are not going to get opened because they're gifts um at least I think they're going to be gifts so I don't want to open them um and the squad got all this stuff so I'm sure they've opened it for you uh and I think happy planner has videos so the first two things are these little bracelet kits they have a bunch of them I bought two this one's called sunset vibes and this one's called golden days they're similar but they're in color palettes that I happen to like and that I think most people would like so we'll flip them over and they come in these little cases um, so we've got all these different colored beads in these two sets so like this one has brass this one has gold they've both got white um, these have like um, clear metallic ones and then smaller and bigger like sandy colored ones but then this one's got the blue and the same kind of white and little gold ones big gold ones more little gold ones and what color is that little black ones and then little cream colored ones and they come with different charms um let's see this one all right so this one seems to have plain um little circles and they come with the connectors and then there's some kind of brass colored stick thing here i don't know what that's for um and then there's stars and heart charms over here and then there's like string and glue um, and I think that's everything that's in here. Um, I'm hoping there are directions. Like, it tells you how to finish the bracelet here. So I'm hoping there's directions underneath and I just can't see them. Or, like, fold it up. Because I have absolutely no idea how to make a bracelet. Not a clue. Um, I mean, I'm sure I can find videos online. But I'm, I'm hoping they give you directions. Because why would you sell people crafts and not give them directions? Um, so these are the bracelet kits. This one is for me. So we'll open this one up. As soon as I realize, there's my scissors. Okay. Alright, so this, and it does say detailed instructions included on this one. Just making me worried about the bracelet boxes. Um, so here's the back of the box. And this is the yarn punch um kit this is the i think it's called garden yep okay so there's a sticker down here on the bottom it tells us it's garden that looks really pretty and you know i'm a gardener so works for me um let's see i have never done they call this needle punching or yarn punching punch needle kit so I've never done this I can crochet I can do embroidery although I don't enjoy it but I know how to do it I am I know how to do cross stitch I don't really enjoy that either um, but I did used to like to make those when I was a kid those um, hook rug kits that you could get at the craft store I think they still make them um, I used to have a lot of fun making those and my grandmother would like hang them all over the house as if they were like priceless tapestries or something. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was a little kid. They hung anything I made all over the house. Um, 
All right, so it comes in this nice kind of muslin feeling bag. And we've got a bunch of yarn. Oh, by the way, the ones that come with the frames are more expensive than the ones that don't. So if you don't want the frame, it's cheaper. I don't remember how much it cost, but I know the cheaper version doesn't come with the frame. I went back and forth on it and I decided I will never take it to Michael's to get a frame, so I should get the frame. Um, ah, instructions. Okay. It's one sheet of instructions. So, hooking the needle, start punching, changing yarn colors, and clean up your work and enjoy. So, that's cool. So, there's like a lot of yarn in here. I guess we can just dump it all out. Um, so, let's see. And it's thick yarn. Um, so, we've got forest green. Forest green. We've got two of these. No, these are different. This one is medallion, and this one is sunshine, and we've got berry, and guava, and a whole bunch of white, and ruby, another forest, and midnight. So that's a lot of yarn. This is the punching tool. They call it a punch needle set. It looks like one piece, so I don't know what makes it a set. And this has directions on the back, which is good. Um, all right, so let's rebag this yarn before I drop it all over the floor, because that's the kind of thing I would do. Sorry about the, it's a weird string in there. Sorry about the furnace, it should go off in a minute. It's really cold here today, so I couldn't reasonably turn the heat off to film a video and not have a bunch of cold teenagers complaining because they're they're home from college today it's it's reading and study for finals week so you know that's what they're doing all right so we got the yarn back in the bag and now we've got this Okay, so this is like, you know when you go into the craft store and you're in like the, the blank wooden area where you can like buy stuff to paint or build or whatever, like birdhouses and shelves and stuff? That's what this smells like. It smells really good, actually. So when you're done, you could like cover your yarn thing and stain this or paint this, whatever you want. Um, and then the back is stapled on very well with batting. Um, that's pretty cool. So I guess you just follow the directions and punch yarn in and make these flowers and leaves. And I'm assuming the background is all that white yarn. Um, so let's see what's on the... Can I get the box back under the camera? Yeah. So we've got a red, a pink, and a yellow flower and really cool looking leaves. And then the whole background is in fact white. So that's really cool. The scissors are not included. They make sure to tell you that, which is fine. I prefer my cutter bees, my other scissors. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in the box. So that's the yarn punch kit. They have a whole bunch of them. Um, this is the one that I liked. And like I said, I, I know me and I'm never gonna remember to take this to Michael's to like get it framed or whatever. So. I went for the one with the frame, but the ones without the frame, if you want to save some money and you will go to Michael's or you, maybe you have some other way you want to display it, then you could get the one that does not come with the frame. All right. And this one, I haven't decided if this is a gift or if this is for me, so we're not going to open it. I know I've seen squad members open these. So this is the paint by numbers. This is called Pretty Petals. So this picture on the front is what it will look like or what it should look like when you're done. This involves paint and a steady hand. So there's a good chance mine is not going to look like that. Um, but it's got all these pretty colors. So it tells you it includes one canvas, three paint brushes, 18 colors of acrylic paint, 
and a design guide card. So, and it's got directions on the back. So you prepare your area, get your paints out, and then paint and let it dry and enjoy and you can hang it up. This of course does not come with a frame. You could frame this. Does it tell you? All right, so the canvas is 16 by 20. So you would want at least a 16 by 20, probably bigger um, in order to frame this. Or you could just stick it on your wall. Um, but I still don't know if, I, if that's going to one of the kids or not. I kind of like it. <laughs> They're each getting two gifts out of this box, so maybe that could be mine. Um, Alright, so here's the last two things Oops, that I got, and these are gifts. So, they are staying in the plastic, and it's a little blary. So these are the scratch board kits. So this one is uh, the gold kit. So you get one foil background, um, scratch sheets, uh, with a design guide, and they're, uh, 11 inches by 16 inches, and this kit is part of a pack that includes four kits and four scratch board tools. So, okay, I'll bend it a little. So if you look at the side, this is a bundle of four. Um, so this one includes foils, and then I think... If I remember right, like there's one or two that are the gold or the color or whatever you get, and then there's one or two that like that have a pre-printed design on the front, and then there's one or two or something in here that don't have a design. I could be remembering wrong, but that's what I thought I heard somebody say, one of the squad in the unboxing. And then this one is floral. And also in gold. I thought there was color too, but I guess not. So these are foil backgrounds. Maybe that was different kits. Um, and again, there's... I can bend it a little without breaking it. There's four kits in here. The tools are on the back. So hopefully one of the squad members opened them up. And you guys saw um, what was in them. Alright, so... This is from the Winter Collection Sale, and there are three items I bought that were not actually part of, as far as I know, the Winter Collection. Um, and they're all in this order. So the first thing that we're going to look at is this. This is the gardening accessory pack. So I have a gardening planner every year, and I love the gardening stuff. So, let's open this up, and we're going to be putting this away instead of keeping it all together. It is going to get put away, in case you didn't watch part two of the 2022 planner prep video. It's long, I know, but you should go watch it because there's a lot of good ideas, not just the one I'm doing, but I start spouting off other stuff. Um, I know at least one person watched the entire video because she commented, so... Um, all right, so the sticky notes, which are pre-punched, which I love, and these are really cute. Um, you guys know how I am about the little sticky notes, um, and bookmarks. And this bookmark, wow, this is really pretty. That's really pretty. Allow yourself to grow. And we've got radishes, and it looks like amaranth. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but that looks like amaranth. And that's the greens for the radishes. That's so pretty. Okay, let me get rid of the plastic. And of course, we've got sticker sheet. So just one, one sticker sheet. So we've got, um, don't use regular scissors unless you're like cutting herbs and you have a special set for them. Don't use regular scissors. Um, so we got some fruits and flowers, a couple of boxes. Good things take time, but it's spelled like the herb, and then there's like herbs. Those are cool. Remember your roots. Happy planted. Planters. That's cool. 
tomatoes, which is like my favorite. I'm from New Jersey. We grow tomatoes here in abundance. Um, all right, now here's the folder. It's, it's got, it's the kind that's got that weird scored lip again, and that does mess up pages, so I'm not happy about that. And this probably will not get used. It'll go somewhere in a storage solution. But it's got vegetables with their names on them in case you grow something, I guess, and can't recognize it or give you ideas or just decoration. And then we've got filler paper. So we'll get rid of that. So this has nice blue area here with butterfly and a bucket of flowers. We got another butterfly up here. Check it off list and notes on grid. And then the whole back is grid with flowers and a bird and let love grow. So I'm not sure if this is part of like an extension of the let love grow uh, collection or if it's just the gardening collection or if it's part of something else i'm not sure but we're going to be putting this into its own thing you know let's do this one all right so i have two cheetah or colorful leopard or whatever they are um, folios, and I saw this one, and I was torn between this one and the black one, and I decided I have so much black stuff, like all my snapping covers, except for one, which I don't think is in this package, um, are black, so, uh, you know, and then there's the, the colorful leopard, cheetah, animal print, whatever it is, um, I have those, so... I got this one. This feels very nice. Um, I don't believe that this is leather because it would be even more expensive. Let's see if it says anything on here about it. No, it does not. So again, like my mom would say, leather. Um, so we're gonna pull this cardboard off. And what's that? Oh, that's just a little piece of cardboard. Okay, so let's open this up. So it's got a nice um, pull on it. Front pocket like the other one. Don't hit the camera. Okay. Oh, that's... Okay, so that's like popped up. So if anybody else got this, can you tell me if yours came popped up? Like, is that supposed to be like that? Um, and then there's this styrofoam color that you get rid of. So there's a mesh pocket over here, and then this pocket where you stick the back of your planner. I mean, you don't have to, but if you're going to keep it in here all the time, it's probably a good idea. Pen loop, zipper pocket. Oh, broken zipper. We are we are continuing the streak of broken items so that's a good pocket um there's no underneath pocket here but there's this so you could stick like stickers and stuff in here there's whatever's under here and then you could stick like they're very shallow so you could stick like i guess if you want to just take this with you cards or something and a pen loop like if you're going to go wild um Maybe you don't want to carry your wallet around. Maybe you want to just throw like a debit card for whatever you might need in there and carry this around with you. I don't know. I haven't been. I'm not going till 2023. I've already started saving. So if you're going in 2023, let me know because we should meet up and hang out. Next up, very well wrapped planner, which is nice because, you know, I'm always the one getting the damaged items so this is like seriously like bubble wrap they've got the, the foam over the discs the discs do not appear to be broken they are plastic okay so this is winter release so this is all undated planners which is fine with me and this is going to be this is another reason we haven't quite gotten to what planners I'm using in 2022 yet because I'm waiting for stuff to come from this order. So this is my garden planner for this coming year, 2022, which starts getting used in January because 
I have seed orders to make and plans to make and seeds to start and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that stuff on this channel or if I'm going to start a second channel for the gardening, the canning, the cooking. So let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to separate them into two channels or do you just want it all here? Because there's garden tours below. Like if you scroll past all the planning videos, there's there's garden tours and like I did an experiment with beets and stuff. So let me know if you guys want that content too or if you want me to put it on another channel and then you can choose if you want to watch it or not. I mean, you can always choose if you want to watch a video or not, but if you don't want to see a whole bunch of gardening, cooking, canning videos, let me know and I'll figure out if separating that out or just not doing it is what I want to do. I'll probably separate it out though because I enjoy doing that. All right, so we're going to take this off. This is a classic size undated gardening planner. This is so pretty right in the front. I know what you're thinking. It's yellow. What do you mean it's pretty? These are sunflowers. This is an exception. Um, <laughs> that's, that's an exception. Big exception. Okay, so now here we go. Now this is supposed to be the plant hardiness zones. So let's see. So... All right, so right off the bat, there's a problem because each one of these numbers has an A and a B. So there's zone 6A and 6B, there's zone 7A and 7B, 10A and 10B. So this is more of like a generalized than exact. So I'm in North Jersey and I'm in the corner of North Jersey over here. I'm like 10 minutes outside New York City, maybe 15, if there's no traffic. Um... <laughs> And that's rare. So I'm like over here. So my garden is actually my property literally runs through when you blow up the real hardiness zones map. The line for 6B and 7A runs right through my backyard where my garden is. So it runs right through my property. So it, it tends to be more 6B um, in end of summer beginning of fall although there have years it's been more 7a in the spring it's more 7a although there was that one year we got snow in may there's a video of that too on here if anyone cares about that um it's very quick um but yeah we got snow in may um so and there was one year where we got a freeze in late may and i had been late with planting my garden that year because um i had been sick and one of my coworkers had just put out like his whole garden. And then he had to bring in everything for this bizarre freeze slash ice storm we were getting. So then he's sending me pictures from his living room and I'm telling him what all his plants are. And he's like, how do you know that? And I'm like, why do you call me for gardening advice? And he's like, good point. Um, <laughs> so this is gonna be my gardening planner. I'm sure the squad has flipped through this, but I have no problem with yanking it open and pulling it all apart because you're going to see this in the setup video. Once we get to my 2022 planners, we've got a little more organizing to do and then we're getting there. Um, all right, but we will be getting there before 2022 and we will be all set up. So if you have not started watching that series yet, there is a playlist. I'll link it at the end of the video and you can start watching those videos and catch up with us and be ready for part three, which will be coming end of this week or the weekend. All right, so you get your months to date your planner. So I'm gonna be using this for 2022. By the way, I do have other undated gardening planners in my collection, but when I saw this, I was like, oh no, this is, this is my planner this year. Um, so this will be January. And it's got flowers down here. It's got butterflies. As you know, I'm not fond of this, but this is a different kind of planner for me. Um, this is not like, you know, weekly spreads of things to do or, well, it's things to do, but it's not weekly spreads of like meetings, doctor's appointments, things like that. This is um, weekly spreads of gardening projects, um, amending soil, when to plant things, when they get harvested, how often they need water, how often they need fertilizer, um, you know, when to look for aphids showing up, when to look for um, any number of things, when to look for um, cabbage worms 
because they're devastating and awful and I hate them. If you ever see those white moths flying around in your yard, you think they're butterflies. They're not. They're moths and they lay the cabbage looper worm, which will eat any brassica you have growing. They'll also eat certain kinds of flowers if they're particularly thick leaved. So you may want to like swat at them. Um, <laughs> there's really, if you've got a butterfly net, you could try and catch them. I watched one guy with a really big gardening channel running around his yard with his kid's butterfly um, net, you know, whatever you got to do. Um, there's all kinds of different solutions people have. So now here's like the weekly layout. So it's Monday through Sunday. And then you've got like the sidebar is already taken care of for you. So there's no need to decorate this um, if you're using these things. If you're not using these things, you can totally cover them up. You could white out everything after water and use this as a hydration checker for yourself if you want. Um, if you don't go outside enough. <laughs> there's lots of things that you can, you can change this and customize it and it's undated. So really, you know, if you just want, if you want to pop a couple of pages from here into your regular planner and Franken plan them because you garden but you have a small garden and you don't need a whole planner then this planner would last you probably a couple of seasons because you can just pop out what you need and want that's a really cute divider that's like the um, folder that had all the vegetables on it so there we go again with the monthly and then projects notes and reminders um, date plant type does that say budget and spent okay so i guess if you want to um track what you spend on plants i do buy some already started plants that i have great difficulty starting from seed by myself but the majority of my plants are started from seed in this room actually so once i get to the point where it's time to start steeds then um i'm gonna have to figure out how i'm going to block off the uv lights from here um <laughs> like i have I also have all my home canned goods down here, but they're covered, they're on shelves and their shelves are covered in blackout curtains and the UV can't get through those. Um, so that keeps the food from degrading. Um, but I've got the shelves over here. My onions are drying right now and then I gotta store them. Oh, and my sweet potatoes too. Um, and then this will get all set up with the UV lights and the trays of seeds. And those are videos that would go up. So like I said, let me know. Do you want me to keep it on this channel? Do you want me to do a separate channel? I'm perfectly happy. Like, I don't want to alienate anybody. So, you know, you guys are here. You guys have been subscribing. I'm assuming it's for the planner content and not my garden videos. So, you know, if, if it's going to keep you guys happy, I will start a second channel just for that stuff. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to figure out how to partition the UV lights, I'm probably gonna have to buy more blackout curtains um, so that they don't interfere with the videos and so that I'm not like frying my eyeballs. Um, all right, so back to the planner. So notes and reminders, to-do lists, pest controls, like I was saying, aphids. I think every month is pretty much gonna be set up the same. It's just gonna be a different divider. And this currently page, which I would use for like reminders of what I'm doing in the upcoming month. Um, It's very pretty though. If you wanted to use this as just like a planner, um, that's that's a pretty uh, currently page and you wouldn't have too much to cover up. Um, all right, so this divider, plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love, and then these flowers are pretty. I don't know what they are because I mostly grow food. Um, I do grow edible flowers. So if I see edible flowers, I'll let you know, but so far I don't. Um, all right, so now here we are back to the projects and the weeks. So we're just, just, just going to do the dividers now. All right, so here's like the pattern off the bookmark. You are capable of amazing things. Let's see which one's next. This one. There's the tomatoes. That's a sticker. Good things take time. That's another sticker. So we didn't get all that original. This is the cover. My garden is my happy place. Just totally totally true. Uh, remember your roots. That was another sticker that we saw. And these vegetables, this was probably another sticker. Maybe. Where did I put the stickers? Was this one of them? No. But it might be in the other sticker books, like the gardening sticker books. Oh, this one has tomatoes. Okay, so the currently, no. 
No, all the current leaves have tomatoes on them, and I just didn't notice. Okay. Uh, keep going and growing. These are pretty. Um, I don't know what this is. Dandelions, maybe? I, I battled dandelions. I don't like them. And they're yellow. Yes. Maybe we'll swap that one out. Uh, and then the last one is Life is So Lovely. And here's a bunch of, looks like, peaches. Could be nectarines, but very pretty. And then your last page and the inside cover. Oh, that's what that thing looked like, the inside cover. Okay. And then the back cover has more of the sunflowers and the black and white stripe, which I love black and white stripes. Um, this has the gold stripes. My garden's my happy place, just like that divider. And then the inside has this map I was showing you. So this is really very useful. Um, and in this planner, this one doesn't have it, which is shocking me because my last one did. So I'm probably going to take the perpetual calendar out of one of these other planners and put it in here because I actually use that in this one to track um, the weather patterns uh, every year so that I have some idea of averages because the averages in the almanac because my yard runs right through two different zones, it, not really accurate for me. So I like to kind of track it for myself. Like my parents live seven miles away. They're squarely in 6B. And there was a snowstorm eh, five years ago. Their town, they live in a valley, I don't. Their town got like walloped, like walls of snow everywhere. And I got like three inches here. So... I'm more east than them. I'm closer to the ocean. There's no beach here or anything like that, but I'm just closer to the ocean. So that's how I'm in the slightly warmer zone for half my yard. I like coffee. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next planner, uh, which I will not be using this year, but I love the cover. And honestly, I'm afraid it would sell out. So I grabbed it. Um, I am ripping the packaging off, not the outer, you'll see. I'm ripping this stuff off, because <laughs> um, it's going to go on a shelf, so that's not going to help me. Okay, so this has cream-colored discs, which are not broken, and this is the undated budget planner, um, and it says, know your worth on the front, which is one of my favorite phrases that they often use in the budget line, and it's got all this gold on the front, which I think is really pretty. I'm going to switch these out for like champagne colored discs. I have like some Mickey ones. Um, I think I might have regular ones too. I don't remember if I got regular champagne discs. I don't remember if they sold regular champagne discs. But they'll get swapped out for Mickey ones. Um, let's take this off because I will leave this on while it's on the shelf. I'll probably stick that back on too, but for right now we'll take it off. Come on. Come off the planner. There you go. Alright. And we'll take this off. Right. I don't remember if I saw someone with squad get this. Um, Alright, so the inside is black and it's got little white dollar signs. This I can take off. This is fine to take off. And then here's your little budget layout thing and your months to date your planner when you're ready to use it. Your hello page. This happy budget edition. This happy planner budget edition belongs to. I don't think I've seen that before. Alright, so this is the usual currently page for the new budget planners. Um, unexpected spends you can record here. And then this is like important dates and that kind of stuff. And then we've got very plain black and white, just like the inside cover, divider, the monthly view, it's got lines down the side, I don't know why they keep doing that. So it's pretty much like the other one in terms of guts. It's got dots, dots down the middle, I don't remember if the other one has that or not. Um, but it's the, it's the same layout, it's just nothing is dated for you. So now you've got um, two sheets of weekly expenses, three, four, Five, six. Okay, so you get six weeks of expense sheets per 
uh, month. I don't think there's six weeks in any month. So extra sheets. So this is the you know um, month of, and then you put in your income and um, expenses and what's remaining, and you can track what you spend on all these different categories. If you have um, debts, if your accounts, if you're uh, tracking savings. And then you can just totally ignore this and decorate this sidebar if you wanted to. Or you can try to do no spends. They're very big on promoting no spends. Um, this down here I wouldn't use. Where do you? Where do I deserve a gold star? Is there anything I can do better next week? There's always something you can do better next week no matter what we're talking about. That's just my opinion. Um, okay, so this is like... This is like the aligned stuff with this kind of design, in my opinion. But I like the gold splatter. So another blank monthly. And then these are going to be the same exact guts. I just want to see if this one also gives you six weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it does give you six. And then a check it off with notes and a doc grid note. And then you are currently for the next month. So there's magic and savings, dollar sign, that one's not bad, Let's see where's the next one, know your worth, which is the same thing it says on the front, I think every budget planner might have a divider that says that, save today, spend tomorrow, try to save for more than one day, all right, um, this is another aligned looking art deco-y type design to me, but again, I like the gold splatter, see which one is next this one is next so this one is just black and lines and the gold splatter um, black with gold splatter stay humble work hard be kind I like that one too black white and gold stripes I like that black with silver splatter do you want it or do you need it which is always a difficult question and then this is the opposite of the inside covers in the first divider it's a white divider with black dots and black dollar signs and then you are at the end of your planner and it's the same as the inside front cover it's plan a happy life and that's that so that's this one I'm just gonna pop these cardboard pieces back on and then I'll do the plastic one later um, because I do leave these things on when they're just hanging out on my shelf. I do have other undated budget planners. Um, and then I have the new one, which is dated. So the reason I'm using that is because it's dated. And I was curious about that. But there's a lot of differences in the pages, I think. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be remembering wrong. But I think there are other pages in the older planners that are not appearing here. So I don't know if you need, like, the accessory companion pack thing or... If they're going to try to sell other pages, I don't know. Maybe they're moving away from those pages. Because really there's some pages they do need to move away from. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do the plastic. And then I started trying to do the plastic. Alright, so now we've got this planner. Also undated. So if my plastic size dashboard for social media becomes... Um, this is the dashboard, right? Yes. Okay. So if that becomes, uh, too small, because I do have big handwriting and I do tend to write a lot, then this one is in contention to take over as the social media planner, should that become necessary. Kind of like a runner-up in a pageant or like, a, you know, juror that's on standby. Um, this is on standby for that and you know even if it waits until next year um that i decide why won't you come off okay so we got the plastic off take the cardboard off this is a 12 month undated dashboard layout this is a big size planner got plastic discs which we will swap out when we use it okay so it says bring on today and it's got daisies on it daisies even though 
the middle is often yellow, uh, are actually one of my favorite flowers, and they are also my mother's favorite flower. Um, and I like this, like these are gold here. I like this combination. I just don't like plastic discs. No, okay. There we go. So we got this cute pink interior. Dashboard layout thing. Months for your tabs. Hello, this big happy planner belongs to. And then down here it says plan a happy life. I'm hoping this whole thing is in frame. This I love. This divider I absolutely love. And I have no idea, by the way, which collection this is part of. I'm assuming it's bright type. I have no idea. So you've got your undated month. And again, we're putting lines down the side. Why? And now you go into your dashboard layout. It's got dots on the spine, which is fine with me. And that box is gone, which is fantastic. You just have this one, which is fine because I put a sticker there and a title anyway. And then you've got your usual days. So there's much more space in this size um, to write things. So it's just a matter of, do I feel like I need that much space? And I might, so that's why I wanted to have this ready to go, plus it's gorgeous. Um, so this one is daisies on a blue background. This one says one happy day. Get lost in what you love. It says it all the way around. And then get busy. And I like this whole color combination here. This is cool. Another daisy. Live life in full bloom all the way around. just the colorful stripes which I also like get stuff done I like this font I like this color combination this is really cool uh, multicolored I like that hooray for today live your dream <laughs> I love this be a nice human be kind you have the um, little boy next door apparently likes to occasionally bite people, so you'll hear his parents saying, we don't bite our friends or we don't eat our friends or something like that. It's just hysterical. I love it. I crack up every time I hear it. I mean, you know, it's not good that the kid is biting people, but it's, it's funny what they say to him. All right, and then the last divider in here is bring on today. And then you've got your notes page at the end. It says take note, but it's in like this pretty color combo. Oh, the stuff on the spine changed. So the back has this splotchy animal type thing. In between here, there's lines. These are dots. I didn't realize they were alternating. These are dots. These are dots. All right, so there's some pattern of alternation on the spine, but it's black and white either way. So I like that. And then this is the same as the front, except the centers of the flowers are pink instead of gold. So this is really cool. I like this and should I need it, it will be here and ready to go. And honestly, moving stuff over from my social media planner should not be that complicated oh I hit the camera I'm sorry um, it really shouldn't be that hard um, I don't keep a whole lot of extra stuff in there though I've been having some ideas so that might change um, but we'll see as the year goes on all right so that was the last planner in this shipment um, there are more in the next one I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's more in the next one. Okay, so there were three things that I bought that were not part of the winter release because, you know, discount code. Um, so these are not what I thought they were. <laughs> I thought these were just like eight and a half by 11 um, punched for the Happy Planner like sleeves, like how you would buy for like a binder. Um, that's what I thought these were because I wanted them for um, bigger sticker kits. 
but it seems that that is not what these are. 12 page protectors, three sheets of each design, holds two by two inch, three by four inch, and four by six inch pocket cards and photos. So not really what I thought I was ordering, but that's my fault for not reading the description thoroughly, I guess. Um, so anyway, that's what they look like. These are from 2017, so they're definitely not new. Um, but like I said, I thought it was a different product. Uh, if they don't make the product I just described that I thought I bought, they really should, um, because that would be very helpful for large sticker storage. They don't make large, I guess, well, no, they make those Mambi stick things. Um, so the other thing, which I'm not going to totally flip through, is this Live Creatively uh, sticker book. It's got something on the front. Um, so I ordered one of these a while ago, and it came printed upside down. I think it made it in a video. I'm not 100% sure. It definitely made it onto Instagram. So if you go on Instagram and you scroll back through my pictures, you'll probably find a picture of this sticker book. But the pages are flipped around, and the hole is punched through the stickers in the bottom. Um, so I ordered a new one hoping that that wouldn't be the case with this one, and it is not the case with this one. So now I have a normal sticker book where I can utilize all of the stickers. Um, and then, where did I put, is it not in here? No, it's here. Okay. And then the other one that I bought that um, isn't part of this release is the summer uh, sticker book that they had put out. This is from 2019. Um, just because I don't have it. Like, I have spring. I have a couple of fall books, a Christmas books, winter books. I did not have um, a summer book. So I grabbed the summer book because it was on sale already and the coupon worked on it. Some weird piece of something popped out of there when I flipped through it. All right, so that's all the non-winter release stuff. So now we've got the winter release sticker books, which I'm only gonna quickly flip through like I just, just did with those because the squad, I do believe, has between them all of these. So you have seen them and the Happy Planner has flipped throughs for them too. So I got the Bright Type Super Large sticker book. Um, I'm really liking these big sticker books. Um, I don't think I would want them bigger than this, and I definitely don't want them to come like packaged like Mambi sticks because those things, that's another thing that needs organization. Um, they just get all over the place, um, including the letters. Uh, so these are flowers and then really big sayings. Um, a lot of these are from the uh, dividers that we just looked at, like the Get Busy. These are cute. Um, bloom, do what you love, enjoy every day, look on the bright side, hurry for today, more flowers. Like, I just love this book. This is cool. Make room for good things. Another do what you love, but in a different design. Rock this day. Life is so good. Enjoy every day. Time to shine. Be you, do you, for you. I like that. Good things are coming. And that's the end of that book. So, I do like these books. I think there were three in this size. I could be wrong. It might have only been two. Um, I know there's an align that comes in this size. I did not order that. Um, Alright, so now here's the bright type in the classics. This is classic, right? Yeah classic size so oh, that, oh nice pages stuck together that's fantastic okay so it's not really like you've seen these before but it's also the same kind of stickers like there's black boxes and checklists and love this best day me time um, beautiful decorative boxes and circles and flags um, same stuff in the other book, but, you know, smaller size, more boxes, more boxes, more boxes. Like, this is fantastic. Flowers, more boxes, <laughs> more. Like, this is, like, a really good, functional, and beautiful book. So, I'm very pleased with this one. This may require a second purchase once they hit the craft stores. I looked at all the 
the stuff I was buying and where it was available. And is it just me or is everything either only Happy Planner or Happy Planner and Joann's? Like, did anyone see Michael's or Hobby Lobby anywhere? Because I did not. Um, I know those Sherpa bags, which I didn't order any of those either because they'll just become a massive mess um, in my house with all like pet hair and everything. It's just, no. Those are Happy Planner only. And something else was Happy Planner only. Um, I don't remember which thing it was now, but there were there were a couple, and then everything else was Happy Planner and Joann's. I didn't see anything for Michaels or um, Hobby Lobby, so I can see snobbing Hobby Lobby because they still haven't put out the full release stuff. Um, but Michaels, like they have a really good relationship with Michaels based on appearances from the outside, so I don't understand why, like what happened there. All right, so this is the Mickey, I guess it's Modern Mickey, Modern Mickey and Minnie, and this is the big size stickers. So it's again, it's another functional book, but you've also got Mickey and Minnie, um, and it's the big size, which is what I prefer. So it's nice that you don't have to buy two books to get boxes and like stickers of Mickey and Minnie, everything is in here, so that's nice. Um, and it's really pretty functional, which is also nice because it makes it easier for me to incorporate them into spreads where I'm going to use them instead of trying to figure out like, well, how can I work Dancing Mickey into this spread? You know what I mean? Um, so I did get that one. I think that's the only Disney sticker book I bought. It might have, um, I bought one other Disney thing, but I don't think it was a sticker book. Um, all right. And then I got these two home bodies so I got it in classic and in the big because we know I love the big and I love the home body colors so this is the big one these flowers are always so gorgeous sticker paper clear sticker paper they come in both they come in foil there's a lot of um, sayings in this one and then you get some functional stuff boxes all very pretty horizontal boxes all very pretty so that's the big and this is the classic size so it's mostly going to be the same stuff just smaller maybe more of like there's I think there's more floral sheets back there um, more boxes and, and boxes with flags they're just they're smaller so there's more of them basically on the pages so they can fit in like some extra flags and extra boxes and stuff like that um, so this I like this pattern I really like all right so that was the regular sized home body this is the new home body for 2021 this is not the old book that came with the sleeve and then this is the Big Planner Essentials Family Dinner Fun Day. Um, so you've got winning, note to self, and then all this stuff on here like crushed it, made it. So all kinds of boxes, icons. I like the color palette, whole sheet of checklists, icons, little phrases birthday cakes, appointment stickers, habit trackers, a whole page of habit trackers. I still say someone needs to come out with an entire book of habit trackers, you know, weekly ones in like every color. So lots of useful boxes in here and home stuff, shopping lists, grocery shopping, the bags are cute. It's the usual, you know, homebody type stuff. And then here's like some payday and bill finance stuff. Um, which can brighten up that black and white budget planner. And then the last one in this order is Let's Stay Home. Which I think is also part of the, yeah, because there's like meal prep and family time here. So this is also part of the new homebody release. Um... Yeah, just look at the color palette. This is part of Homebody. 
Um, so there's all those which are blank and good to go. Lots of wash the dishes, uh, errands, gratitude, home sweet home, create a gift list. And now here's all the decorative elements and boxes that we're familiar with. Lots of boxes, small icons, gather with loved ones, yard work, rake leaves. I need to put rake leaves stickers like on my kids' foreheads. They keep forgetting today's chores. Empty all the trash cans. <laughs> Decorate the house. Now here's some meal prep stickers, autumn tasks wipe down the and then you can put in whatever it is you need to wipe down these are blank um, appointment pickup dine out car wash a whole sheet of birthday and celebrate stickers decorative boxes decorative washi strips same deal more boxes vacuum the and you can write it in declutter the tidy the and you can write in what you want and then you got black one blank ones here not black ones um and then we got more of these trash day bill due payment takeout payday they're the same all the way up water plants water the plants water plants water the plants a whole sheet of different styles of water the plants chores market list declutter the car i need to do that uh, and dust all the shelves and bookcases, tackle the yard, clean out the pantry, I need to do that too. More decorative boxes, meal prep stickers on those wooden cutting boards, which is cute. I love this sticker. Um, and I think this is the last page. So you've got useful um, boxes for spring tasks. You could always wipe that out and just make it tasks. Um, Today is a perfect day to start, spring cleaning, and that's that book. It's called Let's Stay Home. So that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a couple of your friends, and I will see you in the next one.